I'm Rhonda Van Dyke Colby, Vice President for Student Life at Shenandoah University. First, congratulations on the completion of your fall semester. Now rest and reflect and, and come back renewed for the new semester to begin in January. While you all were in the push toward final projects and exams, the news, the national news, had campus sexual assault in the headlines. So while the semester is over, I still want to claim this as a teachable moment, and I want you to be the teachers. I want to hear from you what questions you have about sexual assault at Shenandoah. Do you want to know what the statistics are for the last couple of years, or, or what's the difference to, between sexual harassment and sexual misconduct and sexual assault? Ask what happens when someone reports. You see, your questions, your curiosity, your critical thinking are what's going to help us chart our course. I'm committed to transparency about our process and privacy for the individuals involved. I have to tell you, I have questions too. Is there sexual assault that happens at Shenandoah that goes unreported? That's one of my fears. Are people not reporting because they don't know how to report? Are they afraid they won't be taken seriously? If you will simply share with me your questions, then I'll convene people over break, and when you come back in, the, in January, we'll be ready with a campus message to answer the questions that you have. You can email me with the address you see on the screen. If you want to be anonymous, email me from a non-SU account. It's just important that we hear from you. I'm asking you to speak out and to step up to help create the community we aspire to be. One of respect, one of responsibility, one of learning, social justice, and compassion. That's our Shenandoah. And then, I just need to say, have a great break. I know holly jolly and campus sexual assault are not thoughts that go together, but this is important. So be in touch, and then have a wonderful new year, and hurry back home to Shenandoah. We'll be waiting for you.